The reason you should choose Vauxhall as your company to do an industrial placement with is because we want to rate my place in the top 50. Uh, our managing director was also an undergraduate about 20 years ago. The undergraduate scheme has been running for 25 years and we really work hard to ensure that everyone gets the most out of their placement. Vauxhall is the perfect stepping stone between university life and then graduating and getting a full-time job because it's such a large undergraduate scheme. You get housing help so that you live with all the undergraduates and you also get given a mentor throughout the year. The social life is also a plus to the whole year. Vauxhall offers a lot of support, including a mentor for the year and a selection of training, including presentation skills, Excel and Safe Driver. They also give you the opportunity to become an Excel trainer. Completing a placement at Vauxhall gives you a real insight into the automotive manufacturing industry and gives you an idea of what field you want to work in when you graduate. All undergraduates at the plant get to get involved in a community project. The one at the plant is called Vans R Us. This involves going into a primary school to work with Year 5 and 6s on a number of activities throughout the day. In addition to my job role, I'm also the undergraduate community project leader. The undergraduate community project is called Griffin's Den. So today we visit a number of local schools and promote the STEM subjects science, technology, engineering and maths. It's a fantastic day for both undergraduates and apprentices in addition to the children. All undergraduates have a real responsibility here at Vauxhall. They have an opportunity to make a real contribution to the company as all undergraduates uh, have to complete projects and they know it has to be to a high enough standard for the managers. All of the undergraduate roles at Vauxhall have a large amount of responsibility and allow you to put your own stamp on things. In my role, I've been responsible for organising the test drive events from start to finish, including managing the invitation process, artwork and promotional materials, and running the event on the day. In addition, it's not just your work role, you get to go outside to universities, talk about your placement, get to work with community projects, and do various things. So it's really that there's just responsibilities. They trust you to do your job, you get given support, but you're trusted to use your own initiative. My highlights of the year so far include working at the World Grand Final Triathlon Series in London Hyde Park, at the VXR Track Days and with product placement for film and TV. I also featured in a YouTube video for The Adam. The highlights of my placement so far has def definitely been the two week handover period. This is where the current undergrads and the new undergrads spend two weeks together, you learn your job role and you go out pretty much every night. It's like fresh as the only thing is, next day you have to get up at 8am to learn your job role. The assessment centres consist of um, two panel-based interviews, they last for around half a day. They also include an individual presentation as well as a group task. Um, they're competency-based interviews, so you need to be sure to stick to the style format, which is situation, task, action and result. I'd say my main tip for the assessment day is to make sure you come prepared but still be yourself. They are trying to look for somebody who will also fit into the team as well as the job role. My main tip for the assessment day in terms of the presentation is answer the question to the best of your ability, but remember it's not just about the content. Keep eye contact with your audience and speak slow and clear in the presentation. Try not to feel nervous at the assessment centre. You might not be in direct competition with the other candidates, as you may have chosen different roles, and Vauxhall will consider you wherever they think you fit best in the company. My top tip for an assessment centre is to be enthusiastic about the role you're applying for and the company you've applied for. In terms of tips for assessment centres, make sure you stand out, keep in mind we've all been there last year and do your company research. My top tip for assessment centres is prepare and if you can, try and get some practice interviews with you. This will help you on the day to be more confident 